What's up, Nerdjack Nation? Aaron Waller coming back once again to talk about a show that was probably one of my most anticipated of 2022, and that's Amazon Prime Video's Reacher. And I know this isn't my typical content here at Nerdgenic, but honestly, it's one of my favorite book series to talk about, and when they decided to make a show starring a very underrated actor, I knew I wanted to talk about it, so here we are. Reacher is based on the Jack Reacher novels written by Lee Child, of which there are over 20 books, and of that series, I've read about five or six, and I absolutely love every single one that I've read. They're about a former Army MP by the name of Jack Reacher, who wanders the United States to help out solving various crimes and also gets into a, quite a bit of trouble himself. Jack Reacher had two previous movies starring Tom Cruise, which I really enjoyed, but the big problem that myself and a lot of other fans had is that Jack Reacher is a very big guy and Tom Cruise isn't. So it made it a little bit more difficult to be believable, though they are still great and I still recommend watching them. But now in the 2022 Prime Video series, Alan Richson, best known for Blue Mountain State, DC's Titans, and Raphael in the 2014 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle reboot films, steps into the role and fills it out beautifully. And although Richson may not be as tall as Reacher in real life, his overall size is large and intimidating enough on screen to be very believable. He does an amazing, he does an amazing job in bringing what I believe to be the embodiment of Jack Reacher to life, not just physically, but also the character's charisma, dryness, and just overall demeanor. And they also delve a little bit further into his backstory, likely to get unfamiliar audiences acquainted with his character a bit better, but I also found this to be a really good character building moments and gives a peek into who Reacher is and why he is the way that he is. The rest of the cast also very much plays their part and I don't really think there was a real weak point amongst them. Sure there are some cheesy lines throughout and closer to the end of the series, but for the most part everyone does a very good job. And this inaugural season is also happens to be based on the very first Jack Reacher novel, The Killing Floor, which came out in 1997. And I did read the book several years ago and I actually wanted to reread it before watching the series because I knew that's what it would be about. I just happened to run out of time. But from what I remember, it is actually very faithful to the storyline of the novel. But by far the best part of any Jack Reacher story and this series is the action and how I tend to never really feel bored. With a lot of shows, there's oftentimes big lulls in the middle of episodes and then they just have a big cliffhanger at the end for the next one that makes you want to go ahead and watch that immediately. But with Reacher, although they did have the occasional cliffhanger-esque moment to close a few episodes out, it felt like a complete story was being told. I never got the impression that I was missing anything unless elements were withheld on purpose to build up to a later plotline, and if something was set up, 9 times out of 10 they would have a payoff to some degree. And the books do the same exact thing, as I never really feel like I'm wasting my time when I'm reading any of the Reacher books. And I'd also mention the action. A lot of the action within this series is very fast and for the most part believable as well. People, including Jack Reacher, get hurt or often worse. And despite his size and being the main character, Jack Reacher gets hit despite his background and high level of training. He bleeds, he takes damage. Sure it can be a tad unbelievable at times when he maybe fights a guy with a crowbar and keeps fighting and takes hits after hit, but the point is that at no point is he given the persona of being superhuman or unrealistic. He's good at what he does, but he's also very much human and does make mistakes. Coming from a fan of the books and a fan of the Tom Cruise films, this is a great series. And unless you've read the source material in which it is related, it very much keeps you on the edge of your seat trying to solve the problem that Reacher faces in each episode and even the entire season as a whole. It has great acting, great action, a thrill ride of a story, and I can't wait to watch it all again and get back into reading more of the Reacher books. And for that reason, I'm going to give the Amazon Prime Videos Reacher a 9 out of 10. I really hope that they continue this series. And as the books rarely have much to do with one another, you can literally make any of the other Reacher books for the next season. Whether it be the actual second book, Die Trying, or a later book like Gone Tomorrow, the series can go anywhere and be just as awesome. So those are my thoughts on Reacher, and now I want to hear from you in the Nergenic community. Have you seen Reacher? What did you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And also while you're down there, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you miss out on any future your videos and also give us a like and follow on Instagram at Nergenic so you don't miss out on any awesome news, announcements, or articles at Nergenic.com. But in the meantime, if you want even more video content from us, check out these videos on screen. Like this video where I talk about my impressions of the Pokemon Legends Arceus after one week of play, or check out this playlist in my weekly history of series where I give the comic book history of various heroes and villains. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, we really do appreciate it, and we hope to see you in the next video.